Good morning, Mr. Toms. Are you having a drink from your fountain? Are you? Are you thirsty from being outside? What are you going to do today, Mr. Toms? What are you going to do? You just going to show everybody your butt? Is that what you're going to do? Well, it's another day. Crap, there's another plane. It's kind of a rare sight nowadays. Just gonna get one little quick project started on the Jeep and then get working on this axle. It's definitely been one of those days though where not really feeling motivated. The weather's nice. We've had some crazy storms though, but uh, yeah, I just kind of feel like Tomcat. Just kind of want to lay around and just endlessly surf the internet and waste time for nothing. Just want to back this out of the garage enough so I'm not choking on gas fumes. One thing I'd like to know is that people who have those big stingers that come way out to here, I wonder if they actually wrench on their vehicles or not. So I'm gonna get my floor jack lifted up, use those blue discs, put them underneath the skates, and then put the jack stands on. Now I could safely skate it around, but there's nothing salvageable on the outside. Like, look at those brake lines. I bought that kit, so I'm gonna have to redo all the brake lines and stuff. So this is where the fun begins. When I was at the junkyard trying to pull this thing, the Sway bar brackets are held in place by these clips. And I'll show you, because I just vice gripped it off, is that uh, what happens is sometimes when they're too rusty, they break these things right here. Real pain in the butt. At this point in time, I do not know if I need the sway bar. So I'm just gonna stick it behind my shed for now. And Domcats, is it time for your daily brushing? Is it? I noticed your age is starting to catch up with you. I'm beginning to see you got some sore, stiff hips. You're not jumping as high as you used to. Well, what are you gonna be? You're gonna be like 17 this year, 16, 17. I know, you're an old giddy. You are an old giddy, and I know. I know, Dom Gats. This is where I find out. Oh, I do have enough juice. Look at that. So the thing that concerns me is that I wasn't able to turn the differential over in this thing. So I don't know what the issue is, but I gotta get that brake pad out. Come on. Why are you being such a pain in the butt? Just get the frig out of there. Put some earplugs in for this, because it's going to get noisy. Oh yeah, they're not coming. She'll come. Just need some, need some coaxing. Well, I know it turns now. The side's gonna be the same, needs a good beat down. Oh, 
Ooh, easy. There's just so much rust that you just have to just have to get her started. I mean, it was these to those pads. Okay, this side turns too, so we're good. So I'm gonna take my pry bar. Some people may disagree with this because they say you may bend the flange and that's true. Look at that. Nice and thick. Jeez, I don't know what it is, but I'm just sure picking up. Won't take long to tear it down now. It's actually in pretty good shape. If I was running 410 gears, I'd probably just do the brakes and shit, clean her up and run it for a while. The instructions for that spacer said you're not supposed to use it on an altered or lifted Jeep. Wonder why they said that. We're gonna find out, if anything. Man, what a gorgeous day out. Tom catches chilling in the shade. Hey buds, what are you doing? Do you wanna go inside? Do you? Are you just chilling? Do you want to go inside? Come on, I know. I know, you don't like the heat, but you want it to come outside, I understand. Mm, are you gonna go inside and have a cat nap? Is that what you're going to do? Make sure, make sure the wrench is fully on, because you may start to strip it out because it seems like this thing's in there in there pretty tight oh no it's coming right out it'll come right out there we go sometimes they can be a little tricky but most times they'll just come out like this one here is being a little stubborn it's because I can't get a a good grip with the magnet on it This one's got some sort of O-ring, I think, that's preventing it. So I'm just gonna, I just pushed her out in the cellar, is what I did. I just pushed her straight down and out. And then, pull that one completely out. Making a mess of oil. I'm telling you right now, broke these bearing caps free and Jesus, does it stink. This should just pull out. Ah, come on. There we go. There we go. Get out of there. I'm just going to toss the caps into their natural spot for the time being. Gear oil is by far the worst smell. I don't know what the heck is on this shaft. It's some sort of sludge or something. I don't know what the heck it is. It's like a thick tar that doesn't want to come off. Rotate it around. I'm actually quite surprised the bearing races are in decent shape. Same with the bearings. 31 splines. I need to inspect the clutches. 
And I wonder, wonder how much this is worth if I was to sell the 410 gears limited slip. For Throw that C clip on there. Grab the old taperoo. What the heck over? What the hell was that? How does that even happen? Jeez. I never even looked to see if the axle rebuild kit came with new C-clips or not. Oh shoot. Gotta be careful there. I might knock this axle on the ground. These threads have already been oiled. So I just put my impact on it. See how easy that was? No effort at all. Bearing comes off. Press in. Take the impact. That one was a little bit more stubborn, as you can tell. But we got her off. There we go. So that takes care of that. Bearings are pulled. I can make my setup bearings. It's pretty crazy. This is uh rear end only had two shims. Looks like they're well not the same size, but yeah, two that's all there is. That's how they set it up. Domgats, it's early morning. Are you being a cat hat? Is that what you're doing? You're being a cat hat so I get out of bed? Is that what's going on? Domgats. Need to get my pry bar, it's just gonna keep going around circles, so let's pull her out. Oh, it did pull out. I was expecting the opposite. There we go, we're out. Hopefully I can get it out without, uh... there we go. Once you get it started, start working yourself around. Pry up, just like that seal is out. Alright, let's pull the guts out of here. Come on. Pinion out. She just fell out down below. Alright, for this you're probably going to need a pretty solid hammer. I can already feel it start to start to budge. Couple more hits. Yeah, she's coming. She's gonna come out right away. Right away. Same thing. Start on one end. Have it fall off the jack stands. And we're out. One of the big things is that there's not a... Eat my mallet. Doesn't seem to be a lot of... A lot of shims under it. So it's definitely a tighter fit. So I just use my mallet. Once again, these threads are still oiled. Get my impact. There we are. That came off so easy. All right, I got the axle stripped, except for the parking brake and the other assemblies, but I'll start doing that in the next video and start cleaning it up. 
shot a ton of short videos for my other channel on doing the rebuild, how to do every single little thing. But the weather's starting to get crappy out. Better let Tomcat outside before it starts to rain. Otherwise he might be upset. He was sound asleep, but I woke him up with some gravy treats for senior kitties. That way I don't feel guilty for waking him up, but I want to get him outside before it starts to rain. Yeah, because if I don't let him out now, he doesn't understand that it's raining until I take him outside in the rain. Then he agrees, but he understands the cold, but not the rain. And he likes being outside, hey, bud? Mm, just gonna chill? Is that what you're gonna do? So remember when I was at the junkyard and I made the reference that you should always take all the bolts or the stuff you're removing? This is from the front axle. Oh, the F-150 is perfect for this flange because this one here is a little bit damaged. Same thing, 12.9 grade. Awesome. And they're even the same length. Always keep all your fasteners from the junkyard. All right, time to shut her down. Me and Tomcat are just outside. Gonna enjoy a fire, drink a beer. I'm gonna smoke my pipe. I haven't smoked in a long time, so I'll see you guys in the next video.